Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Oh boy, so much has changed with the smeltery. No longer is it easy. In fact, it's a little bit harder. But, so basically with the smeltery, you can, it's a multi-block that allows you to do uh, basically ore doubling with the usage of lava. But before we even get close to this, you would need to make a seared here and a seared melter. This is your most basic uh, setup. In fact, the best way to... In fact, this is how you progress in Tinkers, is by putting a faucet on here with this, with the casting basin, and right underneath it. This allows you to get your fluid right out of the uh, tank. So what you would need to do is get yourself a seared here and some copper, eight ingots just for simplicity, melt it. Okay, so the melter here can use mainly solid fuels and it cooks up pretty quickly actually. That's one nice thing about the melter is that it cooks up pretty quickly. Although one interesting thing though is that with the melter, uh, it actually doesn't do like a one-to-one -one conversion. It actually does an ingot and three nuggets to your molten stuff. Okay, so next thing you would do is put a sear here right inside the basin. You cannot do this in the casting table. I tried. Okay, so now that it looks pretty full, fill this up, wait for it to cool off, and boom, that's how you get the smelter controller. Now, this is only part of the multi-block. You would need seared bricks, a seared drain, and a seared chute. Okay, basically the seared drain is your fluid input and output, whereas... The seared chute is your item input and output. The reason being for this is because, well, in previous versions, you would have to hook directly up to the smeltery controller with, like, let's say, a hopper or an item conduit or whatever item transport you were using. So, yeah, the smeltery is powered by lava. You cannot use a seared here heater. You cannot use a seared here with this, otherwise, the smeltery, it does not work. It has to be with lava. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So, let me just dismantle this real quick. This. Yeah. Also, getting rid of the main controller of the thing will void all your fluids. Now, this is actually intended in case you accidentally make one too much of an alloy. For example, let's say you made too much of a pig iron and you're like, oh no, I didn't want to make that much. You can just simply void it by breaking the controller. What's nice though about the uh, smeltery is that it's actually a very semi-cheap way of making obsidian. So instead of using a giant diamond pickaxe, you would just use like a copper, which is what is used to make the seared. You need two, two in this configuration right here to make a seared drain and two copper in this configuration to make a seared chute. Seared drain is your fluid, seared chute is your item. And then there's a seared duct version of your fluid input and output by using copper cans or buckets. Okay. But in order to make any of this stuff, you need seared bricks. Seared bricks, they're made in the exact same way using grout. Which is also a pun on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it's easy though. Sand, clay ball, gravel, and just any crafting table, including this one. This will work just fine. Put it in there. Get as many uh, seared bricks as you need. And have fun with it. But in order to put anything into the smeltery, for example a seared drain... Just simply right click the seared drain with a bucket that has some kind of fluid in it. Let's say, for example, water. Mm hmm. 
and lava. If only I had cobblestone. Oh boy. Bear back. Aha. So now all I gotta do is simply right click the sear drain with a lava bucket and it converts the water and lava into an obsidian block that's in the smeltery. Now I could simply just make an ingot out of this or I could just uh, put it back into its block form. Huh, you could stop it now. That was never a thing before. Huh. Very cool. Okay, and boom. Obsidian. Now, this, uh, nautical? Or. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So, these tools right here and here, these are actually obsidian tools that you need to cast using the casting table. Now, early game on, you might not be able to get gold that easily. So, what I like to do is take a blank cast that's made out of sand. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you can mold it using pretty much anything. For example, a pickaxe head. Just simply put down your cast, take whatever tool you want, press it in, take out the tool, and boom, you have your mold. Now, this will be consumed because it's a one time thing. But if you're like, oh no, I didn't want a pickaxe head, I wanted a tool rod. Don't worry. Right click, you'll get your blank sand cast back. No worries. Cool? Cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, I think that's everything at the moment. Ah, there we go. Glass and copper. What? Well, I think that covers pretty much everything at the moment. Um, if you guys want, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. But what helps me even more is hitting that subscribe button because I want to get to man, whatever. Or this is just fun for me to do. Um, let me know how I did it down in the comments below. And please do me a favor. Have a great day. Take care, guys. I'm dead. Bye-bye.